Welcome back to the Clown Show. We are in the week seven of the PCA Sim Racing Summer Fun Series hosted by the Wild West Zones, and we are in Montreal. I've never raced this track, so I'm a little bit nervous coming into this. A uh, couple of reasons why. One is I've never raced on this track before um, outside of the, the, uh, the short races that we did on Monday night this week. So I'm, this week is my first week. Um, the second reason is that I haven't uh, found the time and energy to practice as much this week um, to get ready for the racing. And that, of course, has an effect on performance as well. And uh, Monday night, I was definitely not finding the speed um, that some of my peers were. And uh, throughout the week, still was just sort of suffering just a little bit of a lag there. And it's just a matter of laps, right? It's repetitions, um, building the muscle memory on a new track. Um, to give you an idea of how uh, that actually m measures up, um, last week, Olden Park um, was a track that I had raced on, but um, only in the Radicals and a long time ago. But I put in, um, by the end of the race and everything, uh, that last week I put in 232 laps on that track. Um, and that's, that's a sizable amount of driving. This week, um, I just managed to put in a little over 100 laps at, at Montreal. So I'm definitely, I'm lacking in the repetitions. And that's really, that's what's, uh, what's causing me to feel like I'm, I'm slow. So tonight, I, I actually, I'm just hoping to um, survive, really, more or less. Um, I, I will take a top five. I'll be ecstatic at a top three. And if by some other miracle I get higher than that, then, you know, we'll just start going to Vegas or something because that'll be super, super lucky. But uh, it's a, this is a fun track. It's, it's a really interesting track in that it's a lot of straights, which when you're talking about, you know, high speed straights, what's the key to those? Getting good exits out of the slow portions where you're having to go through a hairpin or go through a, a, a slalom um, a section where you have chicanes, you know, left, right, and you'd have to make sure that you are able to turn in at the right place, hit the apex on the first part of the chicane so you can get on the gas early and pull yourself out and uh, get maximize that speed. That slow in, fast out um, is uh, incredibly important um, in, a, in a track like Montreal because all of those straights, um, you, you know, you, you use that good exit speed and you capitalize on it all the way down that next fast section. Um, so it's a, it's a, a track that is about rhythm about finding pace um, and making the right decisions and controlling the car in the right ways in the slow parts, which there are few. So you really have to maximize that and uh, differentiate yourself that way in terms of time. It'll be a fun race. We'll see how we do. Um, but uh, I'm going to stop yapping now and uh, I'm going to race. All right. Um, after in practice being uh, P10, <laughs> so almost uh, third slowest, I wound up somehow getting uh, P4 um, in the qualification with a 136.778, um, only four tenths back from the pole position sitter, um, Federico. The track who, temp is 69 Fahrenheit, 40 minutes. Who rocked a 136. Okay, Chip, let's get this right. No fuck ups. Green, green, green.
Not the greatest start. I don't know what that shit was going on ahead of me. David already got bad. The gap in front is increasing, it's now 1.0 seconds. For now, I'm fine following Volker around. He's keeping good pace.
the Jim Huth line there. Inside of that chicane is dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Plow, baby, plow, huh? Turn in earlier, Chip. Walker's trying to break my draft, or <laughs> he just takes an interesting line through there. You have to tell me later, Volker. Is that your secret sauce? Come on, turn in. There you go. Go, baby, go. That's a Jim Hughes line right there. Use treat that like a quarter. Daddy, that's going to be a slowdown. You need to slow down a bit if you don't want a penalty. Missed my breaking point. You need to give back the time gained. Thank God. That took a while. Now I gotta catch Walker again. The guy behind you really went. The gap's now 1.6 seconds. A bit quicker than us entering turn six.
open front is now 2.5. Oh, flow. Sorry about that. No worry. A little excitement made it. <laughs> Sector two times good. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. Okay, Chip, we're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 1.6 seconds. front is now 1.6 seconds. No, Daddy. Come on. Come on. Gather, 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 gather. Wow, Daddy. That was dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb.
pulling away from the guy behind. The gap's now 2.3. Alright Chip, we estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. Pit lane speed limit is 40 miles per hour. We'll fuel you to the end of the race. Whew. Crappy drive. Three hundred feet. 100 feet. Half distance, fuel looks good. It exits clear, stay behind the white line. Possibly the slowest way through that complex back there. The leader, Palmer, is pitting. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 15 seconds. It's pitting.
Bulker's a friend, so I'm not gonna get my elbows out here. <laughs> By the way, Volker is one heck of an engineer. He, uh, I don't know if that's his trade, but he's got a uh, YouTube page where he has uh, basically built a motion rig. Um, he also put fans on his VR setup. Um, did some really cool stuff. So if you have not found him already, ask him about his YouTube page and check out some of the stuff that he's got there. It's uh, pretty impressive stuff. And he's a heck of a nice guy on top of that, so worth getting to know, if you don't already. Okay, Chip, you need to pass this twat, you're losing too much time. Good. Take away the inside. Good job, Walker. Way to defend. Had nowhere to take that from me. Smart driving. Stay close, wait for him to make a mistake. Lighten my traction control up a bit there. Over there. <laughs> Almost. 
Okay, Jip, this bastard's holding you up. You've got to find a way fast. Eh, <laughs> shouldn't kill. I think P6 has binned it in Wall of Champions. So I backed off a little. Two seconds. See, Matt is still within striking range of David right now. Oh, Matt's around him. Way to go, Matt.
I get close to him there, I lose sight of my turn in point. Come on, man, send it already. Shut up, Jim. Two has gone off in turn eight. Yellow flag, watch out. Uh oh, that was mad. Oh, Lord, Lord, good battle. Too much pressure. I was counting on you, Matt. My lot of damage run out. God damn it. But I'm still going. Okay, Chip. Stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go.
good drive, guys. P4, that's the end of the race. Bad luck, mate. The kidding, Will. Well, that was just about as advertised, right? I, you know, had uh, not the fastest lap, uh, definitely did not get pole position. Um, had a horrible start, and um, that, coupled with a couple of mistakes, I think really cost me P3, if not possibly P2. Um, so uh, I had a great pit stop, but because I had made a couple of mistakes, I didn't uh, get the undercut on Volker that I probably should have. And uh, if I'd gotten a better start, I might have been able to uh, keep up with Matt and uh, maybe even gotten around him when he had his issue later on in the race. But at the end of the day, wasn't a horrible, horrible showing. If we actually look at the results, um, we I, I came in fourth, um, so got a 57 point um, um, in, in the race. Um, Volker drove a great race, great defensive race um, all the way through, zero incidents. Um, and um, just just drove a really, really solid, solid race holding that position. Um, this is a horrible tra uh, track to pass on. Um, so unless somebody makes a really bad mistake in front of you or you get really, really lucky, it's very difficult to overtake. Um, so, you know, um, good, safe race for all. Um, and I think that actually is is better in the long run. So, uh, so, so decent. Uh, Decent finish, um, I think, uh, given given how well Volker was driving. Um, Matt, Matt, man, he he actually got David uh, um, towards the end of the race and then uh, made a mistake, and uh, David got back around him again. Um, David drove a heck of a race, again, zero incident race for him. Um, Federico del Toro actually got the pole position um, in qualification, but couldn't stay for the race, and it didn't seem fair. Um, to give him the pole point and not have him finish the race. So um, David being the next best qualifier and actually starting on the grid, uh, he got the bonus point for starting in first position, got the zero incident race, and uh, had the fastest lap of the race um, at a 136.745. So another great drive by David. So well-deserved uh, set of three bonus points for him. What does that do in the championship? If we actually look here, um, David extends his lead a little bit uh, with 369 points. Um, I solidify my, my position in second with 356. And uh, Volker and Carl are in close close proximity there. And at, as is uh, Avajit um, is, is just a little bit behind him, them. So uh, it's going to be an interesting race for 3, 4, and 5 uh, going into Indy. We are doing an oval race. So it's not road racing. It's on the oval at Indy. And uh, drafting pit stops, and we're doing something a little unique. It sounds like um, consensus is we're going to do all classes on the track at the same time, which is going to create some really fun traffic issues um, and um, some good pit stop and some good drafting strategies. You can partner up with some folks for some race and get some uh, get some speed out on track uh, should make for a really, really fun race across all the classes and a, a fitting se season finale um, for the, the summer, summer fun series. So uh, really, really exciting. Looking forward to that. And uh, I hope you will check in on the video um, once we publish that as well. So thanks very much for joining. Again, if you do like this content, please click on like so that the YouTube algorithm finds it for other folks. And if you want to be notified of future videos, please click on subscribe. Feel free to comment on the video if you have any uh, um, comments on my driving or uh, things that you would like to see um, more in the videos, please comment and uh, give me that feedback. Love to hear from folks. Again, thank you for joining and take care. Spaß machen Rennsport.